We started today with tired, sore legs, but we are absolutely loving this part of Asturias. It's so green and full of life. We figured once we got moving, our legs would warm up. We're starting out day five. Today we're planning on going from Navis to River de Sella. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. The roosters have been crowing. Yeah, we've heard some kind of pitiful sounding roosters over the last couple days. That's a good one. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you are so pretty. What a beautiful horse. These guys look like they're going to be due for a haircut soon. Oh, look at the baby. Hello. Hello. Snuggled up to mama. We think everything is prettier at this time of day. Sun rising. Birds singing. Roosters calling. Yeah. And then one, and then a good one caught right after I said that. Yeah. I, I think our favorite days are the ones when we're up and at them early. It's cool and it's pretty. Supposedly a train must be coming. Looking for breakfast because we are hungry. We've gone about four kilometers, I think. But we didn't eat anything. Yeah, we've eaten nothing today, so we're hungry. So far, we've been finding a lot of this. A lot of clothes. It's 8 a.m., but we see some people up there, so. Breakfast was delicious. You keeping an eye on those sheep for them? I see that you're working hard. You're doing a good job. Thank you. You're a very good job. strange to be here without my sister Claudia who loves animals but she's working at a vet this summer and couldn't come. One thing I wondered about uh, before we started the Camino was uh, how do you know where to go? You know the path takes so many twists and turns how do you not get lost? Literally, it's that stone pillar with a yellow arrow on it telling you where to go. And sometimes it's just a yellow arrow randomly painted on the back of a stop sign. In Asturias so far, the um, base of the shell, like the part where all the lines go into, is the direction you have to go. Almost like Santiago and all the different routes going to it. The other way we know is uh, we have an app called Buen Camino. And it looks like this. That little blue dot is us. And it just shows the route. The yellow line is the Camino. We don't need it all the time, but when we have a question, we can look at that and kind of try to figure out where to go. So like here, we're at an intersection. We're not sure what to do. We're gonna look at the app. because Oh, look, there's a marker. There's a marker. You just have to look around, find the marker. It's got a yellow arrow on it. So we're gonna go this way. But that's how we know how to go. And it's no more scientific than that. We're going through somebody's property. Clearly this is how to go though. So. There's a cool church and cafe up there. Meeting someone for lunch. Yeah, we're meeting someone for lunch, so we've gotta get there. We have friends and family around Astoria and Galicia. And while we're here, we're just trying to spend time with each of them as we can. Background. We just turned around and this is what we saw. The Picos de Europa. The season for the cow bells. Yep. Yeah. The sound of the bells on the cows and the sheep. We find it very interesting. I mean it is literally like music out here. You hear the birds and the cows. So in my life, the only time I've really heard cowbells was when people are ring shaking them at football games. 
So to actually hear them on a cow and hear how nice it sounds is different. I've only heard and that nice. when people are cheering at races. We've done it. We reached a hundred kilometers. Woohoo! First hundred down. By 200, we should be in Oviedo. The start of the second hundred is on a steep uphill. The ocean is right there. Can't see it too well from here, but there you go, now you can see it right there. Right. And the mountains are right there. And the arrows are all over, because the Camino goes through this small town, Belmonte, which is now where. Yeah, we're in Belmonte. Now. Or getting to Belmonte. Right, I've just decided to move here. I've one day. Been in the town yet? Right, I've never seen it, but ocean mountains, little village on the Camino. Out of five days that we've been walking, we've only had one rainy day so far, and it really wasn't that bad. Look, what is this? Look, it's saying pilgrims can take a piece of fruit. One? I'm gonna it's too. Thank you. Uh, you can have either. Thank you for this trail magic. Take what you want. I think we should take a Claudia. Claudia, in honor of Claudia, our daughter. Claudia? This is called a cherry, but I think you'll know that. Claudia, this is for you. We're thinking about you. How cool is that? These people just gave us some fruit that they grew. I mean, I'm sure they don't get that much produce, but they just save some for pilgrims. Thank you, Trail Magic people. These cows have a pretty nice situation here. Today's leg has been pretty much entirely on paths like this. It's been very pleasant. Almost no cars all day. We haven't seen a town or a village in, I'm gonna say 5K. This is the, the day that we've hurt the most. We walked a long way yesterday and the terrain has been really difficult today, but we're still thrilled to be on the Camino. And when it's done with this day, we'll be glad we did that uh, hike into Ruben to see you. We're building character today. Yep. We're still grateful to be out here. It's still beautiful. Hello. Thank you for posing for us. This is very majestic with your poopy tail. By the end of the day, we were so tired we were barely moving, even though it was one of the most beautiful days of the Camino. We are in Rue Adesaya, and we are tired, but we made it. And we're having coffee con leche. And it looks like a beautiful town. I wish we felt more like walking around. Look, see, sí, gracias. Gracias. Ahí está. Gracias. First page of the Pilgrim Passport is complete. What a great day full of friendly livestock and gorgeous views. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.